Thanks for joining me for another reading through the Bible in chronological order. Genesis chapter 25 Abraham had taken another wife whose name was Keturah, and she bore him Zimram, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shuha. Jokshan fathered Sheba and Dedan. Dedan's sons were Asherim, Letushim, and Lumamim. And Midian's sons were Ephah, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Eldah. All these were sons of Keturah. Abraham gave everything he owned to Isaac. But Abraham gave gifts to the sons of his concubines, and while he was still alive, he sent them eastward, away from his son Isaac, to the land of the east. This is the length of Abraham's life, 175 years. He took his last breath and died at a good old age, old and contented, and he was gathered to his people. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah near Mamre, in the field of Ephron, son of Zohar, the Heathite. This was the field that Abraham bought from the Heathites. Abraham was buried there with his wife Sarah. After Abraham's death, God blessed his son Isaac, who lived near Bir Lahoi, Lahoi Roy. These are the family records of Abraham's son Ishmael, whose ha whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's slave, bore to Abraham. These are the sons of Ishmael's sons. Their names, according to the family records, are Nebaoth, Ishmael's firstborn, then Kidor, Adbil, Adbiel, Mibzam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jetur, Nafish, and Kidama. These are Ishmael's sons, and these are the names by their settlements and encampments, twelve leaders of their clans. This is the length of Ishmael's life, 137 years. He took his last breath and died and was gathered to his people. And they settled from Havilah to Shur, which is opposite Egypt as you go toward Ashur. He stayed near all his relatives. These are the family records of Isaac, son of Abraham. Abraham fathered Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he took as his wife Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean from Padam, Pada Aram, and sister of Laban the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. The Lord was receptive to his prayer and his wife Rebekah conceived. But the children inside her struggled with each other, and she said, Why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples will come from you and be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. When her time came to give birth, there were indeed twins in her womb. The first one came out red-looking, covered with hair like a fur coat, and they named him Esau. After this, his brother came out grasping Esau's heel with his hand, so he was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when they were born. When the boys grew up, Esau became an expert hunter and outdoorsman, but Jacob was a quiet man who stayed at home. Isaac loved Esau because he had a taste for wild game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once when Jacob was cooking a stew, Esau came in from the field exhausted. He said to Jacob, let me eat some of the red stuff because I'm exhausted. That is why he was also named Edom. Jacob replied, First sell me your birthright. Look, said Esau, I'm about to die, so what good is that birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me first. And so he swore to Jacob and sold his birthright to him. Then Jacob gave bread and lentil stew to Esau. He ate, drank, got up, and went away. And so Esau despised his birthright. There was another famine in the land, in addition to the one that had occurred in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, at Gerar. The Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land till that I tell you about. Stay in this land as an alien, and I will be with you and bless you. For I will give all these lands to you and your offspring. And I will confirm the oath that I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky, 
I will give your offspring all these lands, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed by your offering, by your offspring. Because Abraham listened to me and kept my mandate, my commands, my statutes, and my instructions, so Isaac settled in Gerar. When the men of the place asked about his wife, he said, She is my sister. For he was afraid to say that my wife, thinking the men of the place will kill me on account of Rebekah, for she is a beautiful woman. When Isaac had been there for some time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked down from the window and was surprised to see Isaac caressing his wife, Rebekah. Abimelech sent for Isaac and said, So she is really your wife. How could you say she is my sister? Isaac answered him, Because I thought I might die on account of her. Then Abimelech said, What have you done to us? One of the people could easily have slept with your wife, and you would have brought guilt on us. So Abimelech warned all the people, Whoever harms this man or his wife will certainly be put to death. Isaac sowed seed in the land, and in that year he reaped a hundred times what was sown. The Lord blessed him, and the man, the man became rich, and kept getting richer until he was very wealthy. He had flocks of sheep, herds of cattle, and many slaves, and the Philistines were envious of him. Philistines stopped up all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the days of his father Abraham, filling them with dirt. And Abimelech said to Isaac, Leave us, for you are much too powerful for us. So Isaac left there, camped in the Gerar Valley, and lived there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the days of his father Abraham and that the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died. He gave them the same names his father had given them. Then Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found a well of spring water there. But the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen and said, The water is ours. So he named the well Essek because they argued with him. Then they dug another well and quarreled over that one also, so he named it Sitna. He moved from there and dug another, and they did not quarrel over it, so he named it Rehoboth, and said, For now the Lord has made space for us, and we will be fruitful in the land. From there he went up to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him that night and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and multiply your offspring because of my servant Abraham. So he built an altar there, called on the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent there. Isaac's servants also dug a well there. Now Abimelech came to him with, from Gerar with Ahazah, his advisor, and Philcol, the commander of his army. Isaac said to them, Why have you come to me? You hated me and sent me away from you. And they replied, we have clearly seen how the Lord has been with you. We think there should be an oath between two parties, between us and you. Let us make a covenant with you. You will not harm us, just as we have not harmed you, but have done only what was good to you, sending you away in peace. You are now blessed by the Lord. So he prepared a banquet for them, and they ate and drank. They got up early in the morning and swore an oath to each other. Isaac sent them on their way, and they left him in peace. On that same day, Isaac's servants came to tell him about the well they had dug, saying to him, We have found water. He called it Sheba. Therefore the name of the city is still, still Beersheba today. When Esau was forty years old, he took as his wives Judith, daughter of Beri the Hethite, and Basimoth, daughter of Elon the Hethite, and they made life bitter for Isaac and Rebekah. So the story begins to show the two boys and the contrasting truths between them. Neither one of them are innocent any more than any one of us are. But yet Isaac's blessing is evident because God is blessing him because he has and will have the birthright and the promise and the gift that will come to the descendants of Abraham. Thank you for joining me, and join me again for another reading through the Bible in chronological order tomorrow.